Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for November 2nd, 2020. This is the rune Sowelu. Now, Sowelu is the rune for wholeness. It is the rune for the life force, the rune of the sun. And in this reading, it's really asking you a huge question. The first card that I pulled on this, I always do this center uh, top row first to have a particular order that I pull in. The very first card is this King of Coins, King of Pentacles reversed. And I immediately, upon pulling that, heard the question, why, why do you believe that your lack of money or success makes you less than whole? I heard that so clearly when I pulled that coin, when I pulled that, that king of coins. And now this entire reading supports that. It supports that space, that place where we're thinking that our value is reflected by our pocketbooks and, and by the success of our ventures, by the success of the things that we do. We have plenty of good ideas. Not all of them turn into something that makes us money, but all of them lead us down a road of learning and of creativity and expression. And maybe if we looked at things from a space of, this doesn't have to make me money, I am just excited to do this, then things would go in a very different way. Maybe it's that that space where we are just creating for the sake of creating that takes us to that energy, that takes us to that space. This whole reading is basically saying to throw away our connection between who we are, our wholeness, and a 3D world monetary reward for our actions, for our choices, for our projects, that, that we need to take this new space and lean into it and be authoritative within our own lives and not allow that conditioning that we have been, you know, conditioned, <laughs> that we have been participating in our entire life to rule us. That it, it takes art and changes it into something that has to be monetized. It takes expression and changes it into something that has to be monetized. And yes, we need money to live, but that does not affect your wholeness. If it doesn't succeed, it doesn't mean that you are less than because money in and of itself is not a spiritual thing and it doesn't contribute to you as a whole person and it doesn't make you less than if it's out of your reach or if it hasn't succeeded yet. And intuitively, I think we all know that when we focus on that, it almost sends it further away. Like when you're constantly, I want love, I want love, I want love, you, you tend to not attract that. And then the moment you go, oh, I'm not, forget it. I'm not even dealing with that anymore. I'm not looking anymore. Somebody walks right up to you and boom, that's the thing. So while intuitively we understand that, I think it's much easier to let go of it when it comes to love and much more difficult to let go of it when it comes to dollars and cents because of that conditioning that we have all been through for our entire lives living on planet earth, living on this particular space in time, this lifetime. They have trained us that money is the most important thing and it determines whether you are a good or bad person. And as much as we try to not buy into that for a whole bunch of stuff, we all still have that need for approval, that desire to have things and to not worry about them. But perhaps if we can just let go of the worry, then the need to have disappears and once that happens, a blockage is removed and then the flow just comes naturally. Now, I'm not calling anybody out, y'all, because I'm in the same boat. <laughs> I'm in the same boat, y'all. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying that letting go of our conditioning about money is letting go of a blockage between us and the wholeness that is within us. Because we are whole with 
or without the monetary success. Y'all, <laughs> this is always a rough topic, especially for spiritual people or for a lot of spiritual people, for me specifically. And, um, you know, so this reading is calling me out just as much as it's calling you guys out. So don't feel bad. Don't, don't be in your feels about it because I'm, I'm feeling the same way. I'm right there with y'all. You are beloved. You matter. You are so loved. 